Hello, I'm Jacob Kruger, and this is the Write Your Screenplay Podcast. This week, We're going to be talking about structure, but we're going to be doing it in maybe a different way than you have experienced it before. Usually when people talk about structure, they might be talking about outlines. They might be talking about plot. They might be talking about the kinds of things that might have to happen. They might be talking about three-act structure or seven-act structure or hero's journey or any of the millions of other permutations by which people try to understand structure with their intellectual brain. What we're going to be talking about instead today is a simple metaphor that might help you understand the process of finding structure and how to do that in an organic and intuitive way. And that process starts with a really simple metaphor. If you were ever a child or or an adult, you probably have had the experience of putting together a puzzle. And you know when you're putting together a puzzle, I want you to imagine a thousand-piece puzzle, one of those really complicated ones with a lot of intricate detail and a lot of pieces that maybe look similar or even the same. And you know on the cover of the box there's a picture and you're you're trying to create that picture. And when you just look at a thousand puzzle pieces, it can become completely overwhelming. In fact, if you just start trying to put random pieces together, what actually ends up happening is you probably get overwhelmed and likely you're going to quit. So you need a process to start to group those pieces, to start to make sense of them. Um, And when you're putting together a puzzle, you're going to start usually by looking for the corners, right? You're looking for pieces that have a very specific shape, Uh, a shape that makes sense, a shape that can kind of be a central building block. And what's nice about the corners is pretty much any puzzle, you're only going to have four of them. So you do have to sort through a lot of pieces to find those corners, uh, but you don't need a lot of them, right? And, And once you find those corners, you can start to place them. In screenwriting, we also need to look for those corners. Um, we need to look for those corners in order to find the shape for our structure. Um, But our challenge is a little bit different than the challenge of putting together a simple puzzle. See, with a simple puzzle, you always have that picture on the box. And it's not a vague picture. It's not a general picture. It's not a picture that's clouded by your subconscious mind or your dreams, or is shimmery and changes and maybe looks like this and maybe looks like that. In a a puzzle, we have a picture that looks like a picture. The other thing we have when we make a puzzle is we have pieces that look like pieces. They already look like pieces. And we simply have to sort through the pieces that already exist in order to find those corners. In screenwriting, we have to make the pieces. In screenwriting, we have to actually create the pieces. And though we may have a sense of what that final picture looks like, we don't have an exact image to actually build towards. We have to develop our own image. So screenwriting is like putting together a puzzle, but it's like putting together a puzzle where you have to make the pieces and where you don't know exactly what the final image is going to look like. And and that means you need some different skills in order to do that. What a lot of people do is they try to figure out an outline for the image, right? They try to say, okay, you know, there's going to be a puppy dog in the bottom left corner and there's going to be a cute little Victorian cottage up to the right. They try to design it in their mind. Um, But unlike a puzzle, your movie's going to move, right? And it's going to change and your character's going to change and they're people. So they're not simple and fixed the way you have them in your mind. And so what ends up happening is no matter how much you outline, you realize there's more that you don't know. And if you keep outlining and outlining and outlining, you'll find that your outline turns into those thousand pieces, but you still don't really understand what shape to put them into. So we need a different skill. The first skill is the development of the pieces. Until you have the pieces, you will never be able to figure out what that final image needs to look like. 
because writing is an amorphous trade, because writing is not a linear process, because writing is a dance between the subconscious and the conscious mind, between the parts of your script that you know and the parts of the, your script that you don't, between your commercial goals for the script and the intuitive, emotional, visceral process that's actually making you need to write it, the thing that you need to figure out, the journey that you need to go on. Because of all of this, we, we're we not going to know the final picture until we get to the very end of the final draft. In fact, we're not even going to know the picture then because it's going to go through a hundred rewrites. And we're not even going to know the final picture then because it's going to go through the shooting process and brilliant actors are going to come on board and we're not even going to know the final picture then because it's going to go through the editing process so what's going to end up happening right we don't have a fixed image to build towards so what that means is each individual piece becomes more important and we are both putting the puzzle together and also designing the puzzle at the same time all the time so how do we keep that if a thousand piece puzzle can be overwhelming? How do we keep that from being totally overwhelming? Number one, we need to design beautiful pieces. Without beautiful puzzle pieces, there is no puzzle to be built. And often we don't know what the corners are until we write them. Often we don't know what the picture is until we discover it through the process. In fact, often at the beginning, the image that we have of what I, we think our script is going to be is actually quite a cliche image, right? It's a boring image. It's something that we've seen before that's derived from movies we've seen before, our own influences, right? That not consciously, but subconsciously, we're not actually seeing things clearly because we haven't really done the process yet. We haven't done the actual writing yet. So the development of the pieces, and I'm going to give you the quick version now. This is what we do over four weeks in my Write Your Screenplay class. But the quick version of that, the development of the pieces starts with character. It starts with a character who wants something. It starts with a character whose emotional need you feel. It starts with a character who has a specific how, a specific way that they're going about getting what they want. It starts with a character who is navigating certain obstacles. And it starts with a character who is making choices. So when you're building puzzle pieces, it almost doesn't matter where you start because we know we're going to have a mass of thousands of pieces and we know we're going to have to look for the corners eventually. So it almost doesn't matter where you start. So you want to start where you're interested. Write the scene that you love. Write the scene that you know needs to go in there. Write the scene you're so excited about. Or, or write the scene that you're freaking terrified of. Write the scene that you don't know how to land, that you don't feel good enough to write, that you don't know if you can pull off. Write the scene that feels like a tightrope. And as you write that scene, remember what you're doing is you're taking a character, you're taking a piece of yourself and you're going, you're blowing life into that character. You're letting that character live and exist. You are not puppeting that character. You are giving birth to that character and you are connecting to what they want. You're connecting to the need underneath. You're connecting to their how. You're looking, listening, feeling. You're using your senses to get really specific. You're gonna send them into a world with a mission. You're gonna make it really hard and then you're gonna force them to make a choice they haven't made before. And if you are able to build scenes where your character pops into a world with a want, has a need, demonstrates their how, and navigates an obstacle by making a choice they haven't made before, you know you have actually built a puzzle piece. That is one piece of your script. That is a fundamental building block that we call a scene. What happens once you build that one scene is if you really did a good job, if you really saw it clearly, meaning there's something visually interesting about it, there's something specific about it, if you really listened clearly, meaning the way your character talks is slightly different than every other character, you really listen to how she talks or how they talk, right? You really got underneath the surface. If you really did the work of forcing them to make a choice they didn't make before, then they have done something. You've changed a relationship. And what's going to start to happen is you're going to start to go, oh, if this is true, 
maybe this other thing is also true. And that's going to give birth to a new scene that grows naturally, organically out of that first scene. That's going to give birth to a yes and if we wanted to use some improv terms, right? And organically, oh, maybe this is true. If she has this kind of re interaction with her friend in this scene, maybe she has this very different interaction in this other scene. If she wants this here, maybe she pursues it in this way here. Or maybe she wants something very different here. And what starts to happen is, in those early drafts, what we're looking for is we're looking for the edges of what your script might be. In other words, we're looking for the extremes of what that final puzzle might look like. We're not looking for what it is. We're looking for what it might look like. We are building the puzzle pieces out of which our script is eventually going to emerge. So each scene is a puzzle piece. Each scene starts to suggest more puzzle pieces. And as long as those scenes are growing out of each other, whether that is a riff on an image, whether that's a riff on a line, whether that's a riff on a character's dominant trait, whether that's a riff on what the character wants, whether that's a riff on the choices the characters are making, as long as those scenes build organically out of each other, even if they don't build linearly, you're going to start to understand what your character's journey is and what their pattern is. And you're always pushing for the edge, right? The extreme of what can happen. Some of the scenes you write, you should realize after writing, wow, that's, that's not right. That can't happen. That's a different puzzle, right? You want to be pushing to the edge where you're walking that line of what can happen. You're building the most interesting final puzzle that you possibly can. And as you start to do that, you're going to start to realize that some choices are bigger than others. Sometimes they're bigger for others than reason, for reasons you don't totally under, understand yet, right? Sometimes they're bigger than others um, because you just feel it. I don't know why, but this scene feels like it matters. Maybe the scene made me cry or this scene just makes me laugh, right? You might just realize that this scene is particularly compelling and there's something compel particularly compelling about this choice. And what you're going to start, you might, you might also realize that, that certain choices, kind of like when you're building a puzzle, you might start to group things by colors, right? Or by patterns to start to go, these things go together. Similarly, as you build your pieces, you might start to realize like, oh, some of these pieces, they all use the same image or they all capture the same relationship in different ways, right? There's a, uh, there, there's a pattern here. There's a motif here. There's something building here. These kind of fit together in some way. And so what you're looking for first is you're looking for the biggest choices your characters can make. And if you're doing the first part of this right, Every big choice your character makes is also going to give birth to another crazy idea for another big choice your character could make. And those are eventually going to become the puzzle pieces out of which you're going to pick approximately seven if you're building a feature film uh, for a seven act structure, or maybe it's five if you're building a TV show. Maybe it's even 15 at the beginning out of which you find your seven that really matter. But you're going to pick the ones intuitively that feel big. And you're going to start to organize them so you can make sense of them. And so you can say, okay, this, I think this happens first. And I think this happens about here. In other words, you're looking for the ends of your acts. You're looking for the ends of the big movement of your character's journey. And when you start to look at that, you're going to start to realize that, oh, there's a theme that ties all of that together. That really all we're building when we build structure is a series of choices. And those choices start with the little choices we make within scenes. And those choices build up to the big choices that we make. And we know the big choices because we feel them. Sometimes we don't know them intellectually, but we feel them as we write. We feel this is true. And if we start to organize those seven big choices, you're going to realize that your character is going on a journey in relation to a theme. Now, you're not going to get those corners right. Those corners are going to shift and change on you. But once you've placed those corners, you've gone, I've got these seven big 
choices, now you have movements, and now you can start to group the other choices that seem to build up to those choices. You can start to look at your puzzle pieces. And again, every time you look at puzzle pieces, every time you start to organize them, you're also going to get ideas for new scenes, and you're going to start to realize, oh, there are more puzzle pieces to be built. And in this way, it's a pattern that feeds itself, that each choice you make leads to more puzzle pieces, leads to a better sense of where the corners are, leads to a better sense of what the movements are. And what ends up happening is the more you write, the more you understand structure, the more you start to understand what you need to write, the more you start to understand, oh, I need some connective tissue here. Oh, I need a scene that gets me from here to there. Oh, if this happens uh, halfway through my film, I need something like this on the other side of that. And if this happens at the end, then actually I need something like this at the beginning. And so in this way, we are building a puzzle and creating the puzzle at the same time. We are looking at the pieces and finding what we believe are corners and gently building an outline for ourselves at the same time. We are writing scenes and we are outlining at the same time. Now, this is not the only way to outline. There are other ways to outline that I cover in my classes. This is not the only way to think about this. But this is a way of thinking about structure that is particularly good if you are an intuitive writer. Um, it's also particularly good if you're too in your head and you're, and you're getting notes like your script is flat or your script is boring or your script is predictable or your main character isn't active or your main character isn't likable. If you're getting those kinds of notes, really the problem is probably that everything is too planned out and controlled or that you're building around plot rather than building around choice. So this is a particularly powerful strategy and a particularly powerful metaphor for those of you who need to move more into the intuitive side of writing and find your structure in a more organic and intuitive way. And if you'd like to learn more about it, please check out my Write Your Screenplay class. It's online. I teach it multiple times a year. You can do it from anywhere in the world, and it includes a one-on-one -on -one consultation with a professional writer. I hope that you enjoyed this podcast, and I hope to see you soon in our classes or events. You can find out more at writeyourscreenplay.com. Did you know that you can study with us for free every Thursday night? We have a free class called Thursday Night Writes. You can come by donation or you can come for free if you can't afford to make a donation. We have a wonderful community of writers. We have great special guests. We do a different screenwriting topic every week. So come join us. It's writeyourscreenplay.com slash Thursday.